we are witnessing an absolute travesty unfolding on our southern border. On Monday, we apprehended over 10,000 people on the border, the highest level in history. On Tuesday, we apprehended over 10,000 people on the border, again, the highest level in history. There are right now, where we're standing, more than 22,000 people camped just south of the border, getting ready to come across. Just in this location, in less than a month, we've had over 35,000 Venezuelans cross illegally just right here, not counting the whole rest of the border. Every day, just right here, they're encountering, encountering 90 to 100 Chinese nationals. Now, for anyone that doesn't have their globe nearby, China is not immediately to the south of the United States. But 90 to 100 a day are crossing illegally on this border, being smuggled in by Mexican drug cartels. And, and I have to say I am angry because this is deliberate. This is a decision that was made by President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and congressional Democrats to open up the border to what is nothing less than an invasion. Ask yourself, why is President Biden not here? Why is Kamala Harris not here? Why is Elizabeth Warren not here? Why is AOC, she still owns the white pantsuit, why is she not here with her head buried in her hands? Because they don't give a damn about the dead bodies. Six weeks ago, I asked Secretary Mayorkas how many migrants died in the past year crossing illegally. He said, I don't know. The number is 853. But he can't be bothered to worry about that. I asked him how many women have been sexually assaulted in the last year by human traffickers. He said, I don't know, because the administration can't be bothered by that. I asked how many children have been physically and sexually assaulted. Again, I don't know. We're witnessing modern day slavery. And maddeningly, what the Biden administration has decided is they want more. Title 42 is expiring today, and you know what happens tomorrow? Those numbers go up. This is an invasion, and they want the numbers to go up. Let me say to the men and women from the, from the Border Patrol who are heroes, they are extraordinary heroes, and we're down here to tell them thank you, to tell them we love you, to tell them we got your back, even as your political superiors are making it impossible for you to do your job. The Biden administration is really proud now that they have apps on their phone. That when someone crosses illegally, they can fill out an application in two minutes. This is the Amazon version of illegal immigration. They're going to make it fast and deliver them anywhere in the country. We've seen six and a half million people cross illegally since Joe Biden became president, and the administration wants six and a half million to be 10 million, to be 12 million, to be 15 million, to be 20 million. And the body bags that pile up, they can't be bothered to worry about. I'll tell you, the great state of Texas is on the front lines. The volume is overwhelming. It's got to stop.